Pratibha Devising Patil born the 19th of December 1934, is an Indian politician who served as the 12th President of India from 2007 to 2012. A member of the Indian National Congress, Patil is the only woman to hold the office. She previously served as the Governor of Rajasthan from 2004 to 2007. Early life Pratibha Patil is the daughter of Narayan Rao Patil. She was born on 19 December 1934 in the village Nadgaon of Badwad Taluka in the Jalgaon district of Maharashtra, India. Her mother tongue is the Marathi. She received MA degree in Political Science and Economics of University of Pune, an LL.B. degree of University of Mumbai. She then began to practice law at the Jalgaon district court, while also taking interest in social issues such as improving the conditions faced by Indian women. She married devising Ransing Shekhawat on 7 July 1960. The couple have a daughter and a son, Rausaheb Shekhawat, who is also a politician. Political career The BBC has described Padil's political career prior to assuming presidential office as long and largely low-key. In 1962, at the age of 27, she was elected to the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly for the Jalgaon constituency. Thereafter she won in the Muktinagar formerly constituency on four consecutive occasions between 1967 and 1985, before becoming a member of parliament in the Rajya Sabha between 1985 and 1990. In the 1991 elections for the 10th Lok Sabha, she was elected as a member of parliament representing the Amravati constituency. A period of retirement from politics followed later in that decade. Patil had held various cabinet portfolios during her period in the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly and she had also held official positions while in both the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. In addition, she had been for some years the president of the Maharashtra Pradesh Congress Committee and also held office as director of the National Federation of Urban Cooperative Banks and Credit Societies and as a member of the governing council of the National Cooperative Union of India. On the 8th of November 2004, she was appointed as the 24th Governor of Rajasthan, the first woman to hold that office and according to the BBC was a low profile incumbent. Presidency Election Pottle was announced as the United Progressive Alliance candidate on 14 June 2007. She emerged as a compromise candidate after the left-wing parties of the alliance would not agree to the nomination of former Home Minister Shivraj Pottle or Karen Singh. Patil had been loyal to the INC and the Nehru Gandhi family for decades and this was considered to be a significant factor in her selection by Inc. leader Sonia Gandhi, although Patil said that she had no intention of being a rubber stamp president. In the same month that she was selected, as the member of the UPA Patil was accused of shielding her brother, G. N. Patil, in the 2005 Vishram Patil murder case. Vishram Patil had narrowly defeated G. N. Patil in an election to be the president of the District Congress Committee of Jalgaon and in September of that year had been murdered. Vishram Patil's widow eventually accused G. N. Patil of involvement in the crime and claimed that Pratibha Patil had influenced the criminal investigation and that the issue needed to be examined before presidential immunity became active. Her accusations were rejected by the courts in 2009 but in 2015 G. N. Patil was charged. No reference to the alleged involvement of Pratibha Patil was made at this time. Due to the presidential role being largely a figurehead position, the selection of candidate is often arranged by consensus among the various political parties and the candidate runs unopposed. Contrary to the normal pattern of events, Patil faced a challenge in the election. The BBC described the situation as the latest casualty of the country's increasingly partisan politics and it highlights what is widely seen as an acute crisis of leadership. It degenerated into unseemly mud slinging between the ruling party and the opposition. Her challenger was Byron Singh Shekhawat, the incumbent vice president and a Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP) veteran. 
Shekawat stood as an independent candidate and was supported by the National Democratic Alliance (NDA), a group led by the BJP. Although the Shiv Sena party, which was a part of NDA, supported her because of her Marathi origin, those opposed to Patil becoming president claimed her time spent away from high-level politics and specific issues were raised, such as a comment made by her in 1975 that those suffering from hereditary diseases should be sterilized. Another alleged that while a MP for Amravati, she diverted 3.6 million rupees from her MPLADS fund to a trust run by her husband. This was in violation of government rules which barred MPs from providing funds to organizations run by their relatives. The Parliamentary Affairs Minister denied any wrongdoing on Patil's part, and noted that the funds utilized under MPLADS are audited by the Controller and Auditor General of India. Patil won the election held on 19 July 2007. She garnered nearly two-thirds of the votes and took office as India's first woman president on 25 July 2007. In office Patil's term as the president of India saw various controversies. She commuted death sentences of 35 petitioners to life, a record. President's office, however, defended this by saying that President had granted clemency to the petitioners after due consideration and examining the advice of the Home Ministry. Patil was noted for having spent more money on foreign trips, and having taken a greater number of foreign trips, than any prior president. Sometimes accompanied by as many as 11 members of her family, there had been 12 foreign trips spanning 22 countries by May 2012. When she was away on her 13th trip, those completed travels had cost 205 crore rupees, 2.05 billion. The Ministry of External Affairs said that taking family members was not abnormal. The office of president has a five-year term and Pottle retired from the role in July 2012. Pottle allegedly used public funds to build a retirement mansion on a 260,000 square feet 24,000 square meters plot of military land in Pune. Tradition is that a retiring president either takes residence in government accommodation in Delhi or moves back to their residence in their home state. Her use of government money to build a retirement home at the end of the presidential term was unprecedented. Other controversies that arose after her retirement included her desire to claim both an official government car and fuel allowance for the running of a private car, despite rules clearly stipulating that this was an either, or situation. She also took possession of many gifts that had been given to her in her official role and was later forced to return them. <laughs> <laughs> Business interests Patil set up Vidya Bharati Shikshan Prasarik Mandal, an educational institute which runs a chain of schools and colleges in Amravati, Jalgaon, Pune and Mumbai. She also set up Shram Sadhana Trust, which runs hostels for working women in New Delhi, Mumbai and Pune, and an engineering college for rural students in Jalgaon district. She also co-founded a cooperative sugar factory known as San Muktabai Sahakari Sakar Karkana at Muktinagar. In addition, Patil founded a cooperative bank, Pratiba Mahila Sahakari Bank, that ceased trading in February 2003 when its license was cancelled by the Reserve Bank of India. Among other failings, the bank had given illegal loans to her relatives that exceeded the bank's share capital. It had also given a loan to her sugar mill which was never repaid. The bank waived these loans, and this drove it into liquidation. The government liquidator of the bank, P. D. Nigam, said, "...the fact that relatives of the founder chairperson Pratiba Padil, were among those indiscriminately granted loans and that some illegal loan waivers were done has come up in our audit." Six of the top ten defaulters in the bank were linked to her relatives. The INC claimed that Patil had not been involved with the bank since 1994 but the Indian Express reported that it had official documents showing her involvement as late as 2002. Positions held Pratiba Patil has held various official offices during her career. These are 